Good evening and welcome everyone. We begin with a last minute push at the Capitol to restore voting rights for felons here in Mississippi. WJTV 12's Gerald Harris joins us live now with more on the various bills being considered on this committee filing deadline. Gerald? Yeah, Mel, over 20 bills like this one from Senator Derek Simmons aims at restoring voting rights for some convicted felons. However, although there is an appetite to take up criminal justice reform at the Capitol, this may not be included. Democrats at the Capitol shared a passionate plea with the majority. It's disgraceful and it's not right. They are pushing to lift Mississippi's lifetime ban on voting if someone is convicted of a felony. I mean, we all know somebody in our lives, either family or friends, who had a youthful indiscretion, committed a crime, they lost their right to vote for their entire lives. They've, they've done everything that we've asked them to do in terms of paying their debts to society, and yet they still can't vote. This is just wrong. Mississippi is one of three states still allowing for lifetime bans on voting. And Dennis Hopkins, who was convicted as a felon when he was a teenager, is pleading for the right to vote. What you don't understand is I have to raise my children, and I have to teach my children to be an outstanding citizen, be a good person, teach my children to vote and stand up and make your voice heard. But at the same time, I have to tell my children, because your daddy messed up when he was so long ago, I don't have that right and I'm not going to do that. Mississippi is currently being sued on this issue. One suit has been brought by the Southern Poverty Law Center. What we're seeking in the lawsuit are principles of basic fairness with regards to a fundamental right such as voting. If you have been convicted of a disenfranchising crime, when you have served your time, when you have completed your sentence, you ought to get your right to vote back. Democrats face an uphill battle to pass bills in their entirety. They say they will look at workarounds. What we could do, we could take the language of those bills and uh, uh, make amendments to uh, other bills that are moving through the legislative process. According to Senator Simmons, more than 50,000 Mississippians lost the right to vote due to felony convictions. The governor nor any other Republican leader here at the Capitol have signaled a support for allowing felons to vote thus far. Reporting at the Capitol, Gerald Harris, WJTV 12.